I was searching YouTube last week for an Iron Ranger review, and I couldn't find anything. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, YouTube is saturated with Iron Rangers reviews, and um, I'm going to add another one to that, like it or not. And the reason I wanted to review the Iron Ranger is because I wanted to talk about uh, two of the major flaws it has. I've had three pairs. This is my newest pair of Iron Rangers 8085, the Copper Rough and Tough. But I want to talk about their biggest problems and why I think they're really not that big of a deal. So I hope you enjoy this review of the Iron Rangers. In my mind, if you were to ask a child to draw a work boot, this is what they would draw. It's almost the perfect silhouette um, when it comes to a work boot. The Iron Rangers are well-built, great boots, but there's two major problems that I've seen with these, having my own pair and having these problems, and I want to know if they're really that big of a problem. Uh, the first has to do with the gimming that's inside of the boot. So uh, with Goodyear welted boots, you may know this, you may not. If you don't, there are many YouTube videos that explain what a gimming is, how a Goodyear welted boot is constructed, but it has a gimming that is glued on to the footbed of the boot that tends to come loose. And I've had this uh, with a pair of my boots. You don't even know it's happening though until you get it resold and the cobbler has to re-glue it, which usually they don't even charge. They just re-glue it, then put fresh cork and a fresh sole. So, it's made to be this big problem, but is it really a problem if you don't even know what's happened until the boot has been reconstructed and your cobbler tells you about it? So that's the first a big problem of the boot. The second would be there is no midsole. So this is something that I really don't know about. Most boots that I have, they have a midsole. My Thursday boots even have a leather midsole. Yet the Iron Ranger just has the welt and the rubber sole. What does this mean? Well, I guess it's not as durable. I don't really know. I do have a pair of Amber Harness Iron Rangers that are over 13 years old. And on the inside, the welt has come undone uh, from the sole, but everything is still intact. I mean, okay, I blew it. I might be wrong. And I might have proved my point, or I might have made myself look like a total fool. So here is the picture of my Iron Rangers, the Amber Harness, and these are old boots. And you can see that the welt is coming apart from the outsole. But the interesting thing is I decided to put my hand in the boot, which I don't make a practice of this, because I don't want to put my hand where my feet have been, and I notice around the edges, the insole is popping up. So in this pair of boots, the insole is coming loose from the gimming. And it proves that I might be wrong. But it might be right because I have never noticed that the insole was coming loose when I put my foot in. But of course, when I put my hand in and I'm feeling around in there, I do feel it. So this could be a major problem. You can't get glue under that insole, but still, when it comes to everyday wear, it's very comfortable, and I just don't notice it. So, take it for what it is. Back to the regular review. I really should get them resold, but they just don't need to be. They're great boots for uh, beating around. So that being said, Tell me, why do you need a midsole? Why is it so important? I know with the Iron Rangers, you have a thick vegetable tan leather insole. So do you really need an insole? This is something I'm genuinely curious about. Um, I love these boots. These are just fantastic boots. Uh, one thing, they're not the most refined boots, right? So, but they are pretty good for a mass produced boot. That was my two cents with the Iron Ranger boots. I'll end the review with a couple of shots of them and a couple of different pairs of pants. And then I'll end with a couple of shots of my over a decade 
year old, years old, I should say, um, amber harness boots because they look awesome. And that's what it's all about, having a boot a lifetime and getting the most out of it. Thank you for watching, and please let me know if you have any questions. Just leave them in the comments.